Good morning from the Water Utilization Learning Center. My name is Brian Olson and uh, planting season is here and so as we look at uh, how we're going to get our crops in the ground to get the get the best uh, uh, return or the best yield possible, uh, I think it's important that we kind of cover what the impact of soybean planting date can have on that yield potential for those soybeans. So in this video, you'll see some uh, very nice, robust soybeans uh, with good canopy closure, uh, good pod set. Uh, so how do we get to this point? So there's some couple, couple of things to keep in mind. Obviously, we got to get the soybeans out to, in uh, some moist soil, inch, inch and a half deep uh, when soil temperature is around 60 degrees uh, in order to get the, the, the soybeans up and emerging. Uh, we want to make sure that if we're putting out uh, something like a starter fertilizer, we're not putting out a high salt content uh, starter uh, that would come in contact with that soybean seed and potentially inhibit uh, germination or outright kill that uh, soybean seedling. Uh, but then uh, what, uh, when do we put those soybeans in the ground? Um, and so in uh, at the Learning Center, we have done a, a, a research over a number of years looking at the impact of uh, a planting date, a uh, variety of different uh, types of studies, sometimes just looking at one variety with different planting dates, other times looking at uh, planting date by seeding rate, and sometimes looking at different uh, or multiple uh, soybean products. And so I want to take some time here to kind of go over uh, this research so you can kind of see uh, what the, that impact is of that uh, planting date. So in 2019, we conducted uh, this research looking at uh, four planting dates of April 29th, May 13th, June 4th, and June 24th. And uh, they were planted in at 180,000 seeds per acre. We had eight Roundup Ready to Extend soybean uh, products uh, with a maturity group of 2.4 to 3.3 uh, that were used. And so the results here uh, for uh, the yield potential on these soybean products, you'll notice that uh, we had better yields on that April 29th and May 13th planting dates compared to the June 4th and especially the June 24th planting date. And that June 24th planting date, as you guys, as we all remember, 2019 was very wet and we definitely uh, did not plan on planting the soybeans that late, but uh, uh, the, the weather conditions cause us to uh, have some delayed planting. Uh, but again, uh, you know, that uh, end of April, first part of May timeframe is where we saw the best potential on yield from our, uh, from these soybean varieties. And then in 2017, we had one uh, soybean product. It was a 2.8 maturity group. Uh, we had uh, multiple planting dates of April 11th, April 21st, May 5th, May 24th, June 7th, and June 19th, with six different seeding rates of 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, and 280,000 seeds per acre. So again, we looked at soybean product, one soybean product with multiple planting dates and multiple seeding rates. And then you'll notice here that the April 11th and April 21st planting dates were exposed to freezing temperatures and six inches of snowfall at the end of April. When we're looking at these results, you'll notice that we do have some variability in that April 11th planting date uh, with respect to uh, um, the yield potential. And so um, we definitely saw lower yield potential from that April 11th timeframe. Uh, and then uh, the best or the most consistent yield uh, we saw uh, across the planting dates would be that uh, May 5th planting date where we had uh, you know, 80 to 280,000 seeds per acre. And with that 160 to 200,000 uh, seeds per acre seeding rate yielding uh, the best uh, compared to the other seeding rates, uh, we actually see a nice uh, bell-shaped curve here. Uh, with these different seeding rates that's here that we do a uh, drop off as we get into that June 7th and June 19th time frame. So what about uh, lodging potential? Uh, that was one thing that we wanted to look at was the impact of seeding date by planting rate. 
And you'll notice here that uh, we had fairly low lodging potential in those first three planting dates, but then in May 24th, those higher seeding rates, uh, we definitely saw an increased lodging potential. And then uh, we also saw that on June 19th. And so uh, just something to keep in mind that uh, we wanna make sure that we're, we don't go uh, in those, uh, that 280,000 range with those later planting dates because uh, we definitely saw an increase in lodging potential. And then here's a study from 2015 where we looked at, again, uh, planting date, and we've got a nice uh, curve here where we see that uh, the best yield potential is in that, uh, uh, again, end of April, first part of May timeframe. Uh, and then uh, we saw lower yield potentials uh, with that the first of April planting or that end or that middle part of June planting. In this study in 2015, we also looked at canopy closure. And as we all know, canopy closure is important with respect to weed control and soybeans. We want to make sure that uh, canopy gets established so it can compete well against those uh, problematic weeds like Palmer pigweed. And here we've got, uh, again, uh, some uh, measurements on canopy closure, looking at that April 1st, April 24th, May 15th, and June 10th uh, planting dates. Uh, and you'll notice here that, uh, that uh, uh, we've got better uh, canopy closure with that April 24th planting date, even though that April 1st was planted earlier, uh, remember that, uh, uh, we've got a little bit better growing conditions for that April 24th planting date, uh, those uh, soybeans popping up out of the ground. Uh, and uh, that April 1st could have been hurt by, uh, you know, cooler temperatures initially that may have stunted uh, its growth. And so that April 24th uh, time frame for better early season canopy closure, uh, followed by the May 15th. And then that June 10th timeframe uh, was definitely lagging behind compared to the others. And so uh, here is uh, another study. Uh, the previous studies all have all looked at irrigated soybeans. And so again, we wanted to see uh, what the impact was on dryland soybean production. Uh, so here we've got uh, April 1st, 24th, May 1st, May 8th, May 15th, May 26th, and June 10th, planting dates uh, for two soybean products. And you'll know that, uh, or notice that, uh, again, that end of April, first part of May timeframe, uh, we look to have the best, uh, the best response uh, to the soybeans and uh, the best yield potential. And so here's a visual picture. Uh, again, obviously, if we're putting those soybeans in earlier, uh, they're going to mature a little faster uh, in the fall. And so uh, the April 24th planting date uh, was pretty close to harvest on September 16th. And you compare that to that June 10th uh, planting date, uh, where we still have a lot of mature, uh, a lot of maturation to go with those soybeans before they're ready to harvest. So again, just to summarize all of uh, these studies very quickly, at uh, end of April, first part of May, and for uh, folks around Gothenburg, we really look at uh, May 5th as kind of being the, uh, uh, before May 5th, we wanna get our high production soybeans in the ground. Uh, we do have to be mindful of uh, soil temperature. Uh, so we can get our soybeans in too early. You know, We saw this with some of our studies over the years where that, uh, uh, first part of April planting, uh, we, we injured the soybeans and they never really recovered or, or had the yield potential that uh, the soybeans planted at the end of April uh, to first part of May did. So again, that, in, that last week in April, first week in May, those are really the optimum times to get our high yielding soybeans uh, in the ground and get them started off in the right direction. Here's a brief uh, legal statement. Uh, again, all of this research has been conducted at the Learning Center in Gothenburg over the years, uh, looking at, again, uh, uh, soybean product by planting date interaction or soybean uh, planting rate by date, uh, or uh, and then also looking at uh, you know, canopy closure and, 
and what the impact of soybean planting date has on canopy closure. So I hope that you find uh, this information helpful as you move forward with planting season. And we'll talk to you in the future about other agronomic learning center. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video from the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center. For more information, please call 308-537-4500.